Hi, today we're going to talk about a tool called Grid Trimmer. The challenge is that on many large scale projects, here I have a blank project, we have many, many grids, and there's something like this. So when it comes to putting views on sheet, we have come to realize that the grid is cutting into the sheet boundary and uh, we don't have a clean cut on the view versus the boundary. What we have to do is go into the view and grab the grid bubble, pull it in, come over here and grab the bubble again. So this can be very tedious if we have many, many views like that. What we can do instead is uh, using Dynamo to, to automatically trim this grid to, to have a specific offset to the crop region boundary. What we can do here is now I can select this sheet and click Run. First time it's going to come error. I'm going to reselect it just because it has a tendency to pick up the wrong thing. Click Run again. Now you see that this grid bubble has been nicely trimmed to touch the crop region boundary. And it left this grid in the center untouched. So we come back here and run that on this part. The arrow, click again, and done. So cut nice and consistently. There you go. If I go here and edit that, I can change it to have a specific offset. The typical ones on Revit is one inch. I'm having a zero offset, but we can do a um, half inch, quarter inch, no matter uh, whatever we want. Obviously, this is going to work on multiple sheets as well. Let's try that. Not only on floor plans, but also on the elevations or sections. So I have four sections here. Another couple floor plans on multiple sheet. We're going to see this. applying a multiple sheet at once. I'm going to select this and click run. The first time it's probably going to say run. Let's do that again. There we go. See, all of these now cut cleanly and I have a nicely laid out sheet where everything is visible within the boundary of the title block. Here as well, this grid bubble no longer touching the title block, and here they are no longer touching the title block. This could save us a lot of time when it comes to a large scale project where many of these grids are uh, taking too many spaces on the sheet. Thank you.